uh, because we have wet weather that's going to make a comeback in the next 24 hours. Live look from the Ochre Mountain camera overlooking the Tooele Valley. Oh, it looks nice out there. Blue skies, a few clouds, but those showers have tapered off. And boy, it feels good. We're in the low 60s right now in Salt Lake City. Breeze coming from the south 10 miles per hour. So that's southerly flow really going to warm us up today. But take a look at these temperatures in northern Utah. Low 50s in Park City, 63 in Tooele. Low 60s all across the Wasatch Front. Um, and you can see down in St. George, nearing 70 degrees. 62 in Moab. 62 right now in Green River with clear skies all across the state. We've got some clouds lingering along and over the higher train, but a nice day to enjoy the sunshine. Now we have that high pressure that's pushing off to the east of us, and then we have a trough of low pressure, a cold front that's going to slide through the state tonight into tomorrow. That's going to bring us our next round of showers. So let's talk about that cold front tonight and what kind of impacts it's going to have. So that cold front will start sliding into Wendover between 5 and 6 o'clock and then into the Wasatch Front between 8 and 10 o'clock. It'll make its way through central and southern Utah uh, throughout the early morning hours tomorrow. Along this cold front, we're going to get some strong gusty winds. Winds up to about 50 miles per hour possible. So strong gusts along the Wasatch Front between 8 and 10 o'clock tonight. And then we'll get some showers developing a, later, a little bit later on this evening. But the big concern with those gusty winds blowing dust as possible from Nevada, and that's going to drop our visibility. So I want you to be careful if you're traveling tonight into tomorrow morning. Um, you can see some rain showers developing by about 9 o'clock tonight, far northern Utah. Um, that's going to stick around for our morning time. Cache Valley getting some heavier rain by about midnight. Uh, we'll see rain on and off tomorrow morning, but it's really going to uh, kind of ramp up late tomorrow morning into the afternoon hours as we start to warm up. So you can see those rain showers by about noon, sticking around until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the possibility for some isolated thunderstorms and with those some strong gusty winds. Early Wednesday morning it sticks around, but then it's going to start clearing out Wednesday during the day. Really beautiful today, though. Look at this. Sunshine, 72 degrees. Kind of feels like a perfect day, if you ask me. A few clouds out there. We'll be in the low 60s in Park City, 83 in St. George. And tonight, we'll drop down to the low 40s, getting some rain showers, and it'll be breezy. And you're going to notice that wind kicking into gear a little bit later on today and really strengthening tonight. Southern Utah, you'll stay dry tomorrow, dropping a couple degrees, but beautiful by midweek. Low 80s and then breaking into the 90s, 10 degrees warmer by Thursday, 93 Friday, and we'll stay in the upper 80s for your Saturday. Northern Utah rain showers tomorrow afternoon with some thunderstorms. By Wednesday, we dry out, lingering rain in the morning. It's going to feel much cooler Tuesday, but you warm back up by the end of the week, upper 70s Thursday and Friday. But enjoy that. More rain is on the way for Mother's Day weekend. Mostly cloudy skies Saturday and Sunday. We'll get some periods where it's dry. So you'll have some time or some opportunities to get outside. We'll be in the upper 50s Sunday. So a little bit cooler, but we'll take the wet weather.